Welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. My name is David Reich. I'm a welding instructor here at my local community college. Today we're going to be beveling a piece of one inch plate. Very thick stuff. We'll be using a Victor machine torch, a gopher track machine, a 30 degree uh, protractor to set our 30 degree bevel. Obviously the appropriate safety gear. Already cleaned the tip using our tip cleaners. Very important if you've not Use your tip cleaners on your cutting tip for a while, do it. Clean tip equals a clean cut. We are using Victor equipment, so I will be using Victor's um, settings on the, on the machine. And you can see I've got it set to the appropriate tip chart. Always, always, always match your material thickness to your cutting tip size. Don't just go cranking up the gas thinking you're going to get a good quality cut. Very important to make sure that the tip matches the thickness you'll be cutting with. We will be cutting a 30 degree bevel, which does add a little bit more to the thickness, but uh, the Victor, Victor manual says for one inch thick material, a number two tip should suffice. So that's what we'll, we'll be using today. So I'm gonna get all set up here and be right back. Okay, as you can see, we're pretty much set up and ready to go. I have the torch adjusted to a 30 degree angle and the gas pressures are set at about 35 psi on the oxygen and at about 7 psi on the acetylene. Those are the recommended pressures for a number two tip. So you can see we have the, the plate squared up to the track right here. I use this as a guide and I actually squared it up right to the track. So we're getting a nice square cut across this plate. We're doing a 30 degree bevel and so far everything looks really good and we are ready to fire up that torch. So when lighting the oxyacetylene torch, we always light our acetylene first and you only need to crack that valve a little bit. Keep your knuckle hair away from that flame. We want to adjust our, our acetylene flame until that heavy black smoke goes away and then it's ready. We don't want to go that much to where the flame separates from the uh, actual tip. If that happens, bring it back. You get that heavy carburizing smoke adjust until that heavy smoke just goes away and we're pretty much ready to go with our preheat oxygen. So we adjust our preheat oxygen down to a neutral flame. I will hit the cutting lever and then tweak that flame ever so slightly to get rid of those intermediate cones there so we get a nice neutral cutting flame. We always cut with a neutral flame, extremely important. Now the speed of our track machine is going to be 10 to 13 inches per minute. So what I'm going to do before I make a cut is I'm actually going to do a preheat pass and preheat that thick piece of steel. That's one inch thick plate. If you try to cut with that cold, you're going to get a serrated edge on there. Almost looks like a bread knife and we don't want that. So on thicker material, I always recommend doing one quick preheat pass without your cutting oxygen on and that's going to help to get that that path where your cutting is going to happen to be nice and warm. And you can see we got a nice uh, star configuration on that flame. We've got those inner cones, you know, roughly an eighth of an inch off the material. Not going to be buried down in your material. That's rough on the tips and it does not make a good quality cut. So we want to keep those inner, inner flames off just a tiny bit. So we're off to the edge. That looks good. So what I'll do is I will bring it right to the edge of the plate. This is cold rolled material so that edge will get hot very fast. We want it just kissing that edge, just touching it. Turn on your cutting oxygen all the way and work into your cut. I've got my oxyacetylene goggles on. I can look down into that kerf. You're gonna notice one edge rolls over and the other edge closest to the torch head should stay pretty sharp. It's very common to get that dross on the opposite side of your bevel. There's not much you can do, it, do about it when you're beveling, uh, beveling steel. It's just the nature of the beast. But you can see we're getting good dross coming through there. So far, nice clean cut. That plate should drop shortly. You'll hear a little bit of a bang when that hits the bottom. Looks good. Shut off your cutting oxygen, shut off your track machine. So when I shut down a torch, always, always oxygen first, then acetylene, because that naturally purges the torch and you're less likely to get a flashback. Now you can see the cut is made and we got a little bit of dross there. 
but you should be able to take your striker or chipping hammer and knock any of that dross off. And if you look at that edge, it should be razor sharp, razor sharp to where you could almost shave with it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you like, like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and I'll make more videos and have some more fun with welding. Thank you.